Hello friends, welcome to the video number 27 for the JavaScript video tutorial series. And well, in this video we're gonna talk about, um, let's say, a new flavor of the for loop. And I am talking about the for in loop. Uh, so we're gonna continue with the previous example for the from the previous video where we talk about the for loop. Uh, and with this example, we were cre we create here a uh, variable. We call it names. And here we had a, an array. We have not talked about arrays yet or uh, uh, objects. But well, we just said that arrays are basically objects in JavaScript. And I know that this is an array because well, I have several values contained inside of these uh, brackets or square brackets. And each value is separated by a comma from the from the next one. So here I have four values inside of this of this array or this variable that is an array. And well, as, a, as any object, uh, arrays also have uh, have methods and properties. So here we are using a property for uh, uh, to get the length of the variable names or the array that we call names. And so we got here a, a four, right? Uh, we have four elements. And then we use a for loop. And remember, we have the initial condition. So i equals 0. And then we, s we use this names.length, which is a four. So as long as the i is lower than 4, we're going to do the, the, the loop or whatever is contained inside of the loop. And then we have our increment. In this case, as we want to go one by one, um, we use this uh, i++, plus plus, right, to increment one by one. And finally, well, inside of the loop, we just uh, write uh, on the screen the name number uh, one, for example. Here we're adding zero plus one, so it's one. The name number one is uh, John. And then in the next, we have a line break here. So the name number two is Tom, three is Sarah, four is Susan. OK, so let's just look at this one more time in Chrome. There it is. So now the new way of doing it is using the for in loop. Um, and again, this is going to be very useful when we want to pass through or uh, we want to traverse through each element contained inside of an array or, a, or an object, right? Uh, so the only thing that we need to do, uh, rem remember you can use any name that you want to use. In this case, I'm going to using. I'm going to continue using uh, the i. Uh, you can use, for example, n in names, just because. Well, it's the first, the first name, uh, name, the first letter of your of your variable that contains your object or your array. Uh, but well, as I have, I am using the i here and here. I'm gonna again continue using the i for i in. That's it. We just need to write the in. We, we can see that it's a reserved word, right? Now the notepad++ plus plus immediately turns it blue and italic, so it indicates to us that this is a reserved word. So for i in, and then the name of the variable, names, right? The variable that contains the object or the array. Uh, and well, that's pretty much it. Let's just save this and run it, and we just we obtain basically the same thing, but we just see that we have this 0, 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 1, 1. So something weird is happening here, obviously. And well, remember here, I'm trying to add the value of i plus 1. If I'm getting 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, so here is starting at 0, 1, 2, 3, so the element 0, element 1, 2, and 3. Um, then remember, and we talked about this when, when we talk about uh, very, uh, data types, I think. <laughs> we mentioned that we can have this kind of uh, behavior when, um, as soon as we get into a string, remember? We said if we get a, a string and then we try to add it to a number, uh, JavaScript, what tries to do is just convert this to a string. It doesn't make a sense, at least not for JavaScript, hopefully not for us either, to try to add a number and a string. But 
JavaScript says, okay, but what I can do is to join, right, to concatenate two strings. So that's what we are getting in here, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1. And, well, I th I'm pretty sure I didn't talk about this. I should have probably talked about this when we talked about data types, but, well, I didn't. I'm sorry. I guess I'm going to have to do a video about what I'm going to show you right now. And it's something very simple, and it's just uh, changing the data type uh, for this case. I know that this is a number. It just happened to be represented as a string, right? It's in its text form, let's say. Uh, the 0, the 1, the 2, and the 3 are in the text form. So I'm just going to tell JavaScript, okay, change that to, to the numerical format or the numerical data type. And the way to do that is just to say number and put that i inside of parentheses. And that's basically it, right? We go again, refresh, and we get the result that we want. So number name number one, number two, number three, number four. And well, again, that's basically it. Um, well, there it is, the new flavor for your uh, for loop is for in, a very nice condensed, um, easy way to write this loop for traversing or passing one by one all of the elements contained inside of an object or an array. All right, so let's leave it like, uh, right here. Uh, as always, I hope that you have found this video useful. Thanks all of you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, uh, share and like the video. And well, I hope to see you on the next one.